if we see those scam ads, if you see ads with people's names, Holly's, mine, Eamon's, most celebrities are not uh, doing these, uh, selling these no. products. Check Thanks, them out Martin. and press Thank the you. scam button. Um, Thank you, Martin. Uh, and you Thank see, you. in my case, mine was brought uh, to my attention by a, a doctor who was very angry with me lending, lending my name uh, to this. But the thing that gets me is, why choose me? Why should I be the face of erectile dysfunction? <laughs> That's... <laughs> This is... No, we shouldn't be laughing. Yes. Over two funny. decades of a happy marriage, <laughs> thanks to Eamon Holmes's <laughs> erectile <laughs> dysfunction pills. <laughs> so, well, well, it's no laughing matter. It's not. I do have to say. A lot of people... Um, yes, let's, sorry, let's see the thing again. <laughs> right. Sorry, look. So there, look how happy that woman looks. <laughs> yeah. Another satisfied customer. <laughs> so there we go. There we go. Anyway, a lot of you look and you say, why does Ruth come to work <laughs> with a smile on her face? <laughs> I'm just... So you think you have trouble? Yeah. Well, I got chosen for diet pills, you know. Yeah, but why would you look at me and think, oh, he'll be needing a... <laughs> he'll need a Stop. pill or two. Anyway. Stop. We shouldn't even be making fun of this. It's very serious. No, it is very serious. And when I catch whoever's behind it... <laughs> Right, anyway. <laughs> Lip fillers, chin implants, facelifts, nose jobs, but enough about Ruth. Oh, uh, this... <laughs> well, I'm only... It's only so much trouble today, aren't you? If you haven't well, got one. The one you've missed and... out on is the one my wife insists on. Which, which one's that? To... Blow on me, blow on me. <laughs> and I have to, I have to go... <laughs> <laughs> she loves a bit of that. <laughs> Don't you? <laughs> Don't you? I do. <laughs> 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 See, that's the truth. That's another true story. <laughs> right, I'm having some ice cream. <laughs> you carry you on. <laughs> I just, I'm just saying, I don't know. Anyway, uh, lovely to see so much interactivity happening on this programme here on a Friday. Thank you very much indeed for taking part and in get, getting in touch. Now, um, because one of the things drawn to my attention by my young and trendy producer, Nicole... She's very young and trendy. She's very young and trendy. Well, much younger than us. Um, is she said, Eamon, she came in today and said, Eamon, your celebrity lookalike, there's this app thing, right, which has gone viral. And if you look at mine here, you'll say, who does Eamon look like? Do well, you think it's George Clooney normally? Darling, I don't boast about things like that. If people want to <laughs> conclude that, that's fine. But here's, here's what we find out, right? So have a look at this. This is me. You put this in there, and my oh. face morphs into Doesn't Leonardo. It? Well, I said it's not. Sorry, we should say Leonardo DiCaprio's face morphs into, into mine. yours. So when Leo was in Hollywood and he puts in there, um, who do I look like? Eamon Holmes it's will come It's going to say Eamon Holmes. Eamon Holmes OBE. Thank you. Right. Leo. There you are. Yeah. Don't forget so, that. So uh, this is one. How much? How long's left on the programme? Ten and a half minutes. We're going to talk football for the next ten and a half Yay. minutes. Wouldn't that, that would be brilliant, <laughs> wouldn't it? Can't wait. Well, yeah. When I met my wife, Gary Lineker, she pretended she loved football. I do, she that's very true. She was a Man United supporter, and you know, that was just to get in wilder way into my... Just for about a month. Just a month. Yeah. What? It's long enough. It didn't work, because she's still with it. Yeah, I <laughs> bet you, when you meet women, I bet you they all say, I love football. Oh, uh, do they? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've got any sense. <laughs> last thing I want to do is talk to, talk to them about football. Good. <laughs> well, I tell you what, I wonder if the loose women like football. Let's go and find out what they're talking well, about. We today. love football. No, no, I was just going to say, football. Man City are doing really well these days, aren't they? <laughs> Hurry up. Have you anything, there's anything proper to say? Come on, we're running out of time. Food for thought there, and... Um, if you've fallen out with someone uh, in the family, maybe we've given you an excuse today to make up. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, send some flat. Yeah. There you are. I'm sorry. You, are you going to say sorry? Sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> she has never... That was on tape. You have never said sorry to me, ever. Oh, everything. <laughs> <For> everything. <laughs> right, well, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to bring you for a Chinese takeaway. Oh, good. Yeah, in this very studio. Me? I'm going to take you right behind oh, there. Oh, right now, OK. Uh... <laughs> it's my lucky day. OK. <laughs> I mean, that's in, the, in the kitchen. <laughs> in the kitchen, right behind On Friday, there. that's what we call right. it, folks. So, <laughs> we've got Ching showing you how to make a Friday night takeaway, and that's where we're going. That's okay? where we're going. Right we're after this. Right after this. You, to provide Look, that. It's on, it's on uh, 10.35 tonight, BBC One, inside the Bruderhof. Um, we are certainly looking forward to that. Um, really appreciate you guys coming out 
to us into this world. I'd love to talk to you longer about this, but in this rampant world of consumerism and everything <laughs> you don't stand for, I'm quite embarrassed to say this is what the world is about because you're now going to witness us uh, preaching and trying to beg people to enter a competition uh, awesome, here. And, 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 and I know, I, I mean, I, I'm, I'm not finding this funny. It is quite embarrassing because it is everything you're opposed to. It's a chance to win £60,000 in cash. Can it's we, a chance to win a brand new can car. Can we enter? I mean, can we get in on this? Would you would not, I would only be... <laughs> I'd only be tarnishing and tainting you. <laughs> what what do you want with a big fancy car, burner? But you could enter, win it, and then and no one would it. know. Share it with the community. Share it with the community. Yeah, share, share it with everyone. With everyone. OK, so, OK. Well, here it is. I did my best. I've apologised enough. Let's go. Here's Lisa Snowden with the big bucks, big bang competition. I'm very sorry. Oh, look, we've got our TV son with us today. It's nice to have you back in. It's so nice not having to work. No, you sit there and behave I'm, I'm yourself, right. okay? No. Because we've got to talk about Phil Vickery. He's in the kitchen today. I love Phil Vickery. He's doing, um, he's got summer fruits, blackberries and plum, and he's making those into an upside down cake. Oh, yeah. That sounds handsome, Phil. Handsome. Lovely. And they're blackberries from his own garden. Oh, it's nice to break. <laughs> That fern's a lucky woman. <laughs> All them blackberries hanging about. <laughs> anyway, we're going back in time now, telly time. Uh, well, one of the, the big catchphrases that you may remember is, next time you're at the checkout and you hear the beep, think, think of all the, the fun, fun you could have at... Supermarkets, mate. Supermarkets, <laughs> week. Don't be shy. You did that really well. No. The timing no, was This perfect. is exactly why shows should be presented singly. I mean, that's... <laughs> That's exactly. As I always say to Ruth, do you think Ant and Deck don't rehearse? That's why you should be <laughs> rehearsing. Oh, oh they're going to have a domestic now. Cross lines. Yeah. Coming. You know, English and then being told that you're the Prince of Wales well, and the Duke of Edinburgh or whatever forced upon you, yeah. you know, but... You know, listen, I, that's just... Of course, his dad supports Villa. I mean, if he's my son... And his dad's the president son, of the FA. Yeah, and? And so that, not... that could be English, yeah, yeah. And actually, she, she, she said that he was watching the Lionesses and he was obsessed with the football matches and that's why he had his shirt on. Oh, good for him, because I don't care. He's very happy. I don't care, because I think he looks lovely he and in my very house, sweet. It was just the only thing that would matter to me would be his club. Aston Villa. Yeah, I mean, yeah. if he'd come up and say, Daddy, who will I support? There would be no... It'd be like, do you want to be king? Do you remember when Jack asked you... Do you remember when Jack asked you if you could support yes. Chelsea? I said, do you know what an orphanage is, son? <laughs> Those are the exact words. But uh, that's it. But thank goodness all my, ch all my children are Man United. Well, oh. apart from one who hates football altogether. Don't, we don't talk about him. <laughs> don't, talk, don't talk about him. But at least Sorry, he's no. nothing. At least he's nothing, right? Well, they weren't allowed to be anything but Man United. Darling, they chose... <laughs> they were given a choice and they all chose... Jack was sat down on the step. I remember you sat him down and went, now listen to me. Yeah, I did. <laughs> we are a Man United house and that is all. We don't ever talk about I Chelsea. I said worse than that. You didn't even hear what I said to him, but anyway, it worked. <laughs> your moves, are your moves easy to, easy to follow? Can you teach us? I mean... I can teach you. Josie, yeah. do you want to come and do some. We've got take on to get me on the dance floor. Yeah. So oh, yeah. when we go, hiya, Joseph. Hello. So Is when we go, coming? what way do we go? What are you looking at me like that for? <laughs> I wasn't throwing out a strictly. You need to bend your knees so yeah. you need so that your hips sway them, sway them, out. sway it from side to side. Keep your knees bent. That's it. There we go. Now Ooh. move backward and forward. There we go. Not too much. Not oh, too much. Oh, sorry. I'm a little bit down. Yeah, a little. Now give it a shake. Give your bottom a shake. My bottom's too tight to shake. That's, a, <laughs> that's it. That's from all that work. Well, you're now. doing well. You're wobbling well, Ruth. That's I'm good. Yes, yes. Swizzle. <laughs> mm -hmm. I think I'm, it's easy for me because I've got a lot to. A lot of behind, so it's a lot easier to learn the thing you were doing like this, like you were doing. Oh, there we go, there. <laughs> Oh, and my legs. Uh, Eamon, you've straightened your knees, look, oh. that's it. And lift. Oh. And lift. Oh, oh my legs! <laughs> oh, no. And lift. Oh. Yes, OK. And lift. Lovely. And shake. Wonderful. And shake. Wonderful. And shake. Wonderful. There we go. Wonderful. Oh, he's the best it. with his knees. My legs are on fire! <laughs> we have got a really good dog. Got the no, best dog. Our world. dog. Oh, that's because I spent freak. years training it. <laughs> Yeah, uh, how I, you can sit there. You don't know what I do when I disappear with a dog and not blush with shame. You that think those I'm words have just come out of your mouth? And the dog's lying in my lap, but not. I'm talking to the dog. I'm teaching, you're telepathically training, the training dog. her. Mm -hmm. Let's lie here, and I'll feed you some wotsy cheesy watsits while we watch the football. That was a one-off mistake. 
If ever, if anyone's ever tempted to feed their dog cheesy watsons, don't please do don't. it. Especially because they they then have uncontrollable bowel habits. And we we <laughs> still no, have we still it's have the true. bright orange stain on yeah. the cream carpet that yes. the carpet well, that, cleaner came and said, "What the hell have you been feeding your dog?" It was like nuclear fallout. It was. It still glows. It still glows. It still glows. Uh, and yes. I said, well, I haven't. I only give her organic cooked chicken that I make myself. Who could that be? And Amy went, oh, it might be in that bag of cheesy what's it I gave her when we were watching the football. Mm -hmm. True story. Anyway. anyway Fern Cotton and I share a passion, and that is interior design, which is lovely, unless you <laughs> live with someone who has no idea about design. Oh, I'm actually Ruth. busy walking the dog, that's why. Well, you're stuck in a time warp Too of 1983. The dog. <laughs> if it's beige, Ruth goes for it, right? So, beige. very like shades beige. of beige. <laughs> beige. But anyway... I'm about to do my bedroom again, because you do get home yeah. and critique everything you've done previously and learn things like the ceiling is the fifth wall, which I never even thought about. Never why not? Thought why not paint your ceiling a colour that's different? Or put a massive your, big mirror done? on it. Pardon? Well, if that's... <laughs> Your thing, Eamon. You knock yourself <laughs> Not out. Not in my house, you would <laughs> <laughs> well, We're I, learning I a lot about you don't you want to be looking at that. <laughs> Seriously. Well, it's the fifth wall. <laughs> it's the fifth wall. Why not mirror Why not? it, says Eamon. Well, Have ask Michelle about that on your one. Ceiling? Have you done anything to your ceiling? <laughs> no, no, I haven't yet. <laughs> I mean, there's more ideas flooding in, so there's more to be considered. What about Good luck with it, Frank. Thank Talking of design, so fantastic boots. Thanks. Look at those. Now, that's a colour for you, isn't it? That is Thank a colour. Ceiling, ceiling oh. colour. Ceiling colour. Mm. Go for it. <laughs> what do you think of, of me and my wife coordinating? This is two days in a row. I said earlier, I love this. I think it's a gorgeous yeah. thing this that you're... Is, I, it's not, I don't set out to coordinate. He does mm. it to annoy me. I that's why you're soulmates. I do it deliberately. Because it annoys her so much. It annoys me so much when yeah. he's talking when I'm trying to get to a break. <laughs> so I need to get to a break because I want to talk about moths. It's very important. Oh, that is living the life, Isn't that it? is. Where was she? Where was she filming that? Greece. 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 We're gonna, there's a heat wave coming. I was watching the forecast this morning. We're coming here. Yes. Coming here over the weekend and said by bank, bank holiday Monday it could be 28, 29 degrees. That's 10 days away. It's not. It's, it's not bank, it's bank holiday, holiday Monday this weekend. It yeah. is. Yeah. It's not a bank holiday this weekend. It it's is. the next week. It's the. Oh, it, it is. is. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, well, Eamon ponders uh, on that one. Uh, we've got a special. Are we, on, are we on next Monday? Yes, we were. We're all working. Well, maybe a bank holiday for you, <laughs> but yes, not, for, not us. for us. That's the difference. <laughs> anyway, we've got a special mission for mm. one of our teams. We'll be He's baking still outside and we'll be in here. So I hope he has a fantastic well, holiday. You're right. She reminds me um, of, of my mother and your mother, mm. all of whom don't shut up. They just like to talk, don't they? I think I've got a bit of that, Gene. You've, you've got a bit of that. All talk and never listen. You do have that, too. Anyway, we'll be talking with the acting legend, Sue Johnson. She's listening to all Oh, yes. So, yeah. Oh, there. Hiya, Sue. Oh, look, look, look. She does a bit of talking as well. She likes a bit of talking. Is your partner micro-cheating on you? Do you even know what that is? There's the new type of infidelity, which includes everything from liking someone's photo on social media to sending flirty messages to them in online, sliding into their DMs, I believe it's called. Is it just as bad as a full-blown affair? Of course, it's not a lot of nonsense. Well, some of course people it's not. say it's cheating. What, liking it somebody's post? Ooh, are you sounding nervous? I'm a liker. I'm a liker. <laughs> You're a bit of a liker. One way, well, one way only. Somebody I would definitely direct message and have no difficulty about it. I don't know how she would consider that or her partner Ben would consider it <laughs> is Vanessa Feltz. But we have, had, we have had no issue, anything inappropriate, me sliding in there to DM you, have we, Vanessa? Good Lord, I've loved every second of it. It's been fantastic. Long may it continue. One of the highlights of my life. <laughs> Good advice. Now, we're running a poll now and and i want your advice you know why um i want to show you something okay oh do you know why this week i lost my sunglasses put that yes. right i got some new ones and i'm not sure you'll like oh, them okay. they're a bit radical they're okay. a bit, bit they're, rad. they're a bit radical i just want to know do you like them who laughed who well, laughed I, in my ear there there was I a very like, big huff and puff let me, see, let me see i like the shape are they mirrored because i don't like a mirrored sunglass do i look like not. benny hill in them or the boss said they're very Elton John. Know. Are they a bit small for your face, maybe? Or is yeah. my face a big, big, <laughs> big for your glasses? Big, big. <laughs> I quite like them. I try and do my best, and all you ever do, do like is mine? mock me and laugh. These are my new ones. I'm not allowed to say like I do. Those? Well, you're very classy, darling. You're very classy. Like. Particularly that picture I took of you 
filling the car with petrol last night. I can't believe night. you took a picture of me. <laughs> uh, you took on a twi on Twitter, if you haven't seen it. Filling up my car with petrol anyway, yesterday. Hey, Why did you these, do that? These are very nice. These are blues. They're very good. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Nice. Well, we finally got. We must come back and well, talk about Well, they say the, the, the apple never falls far from the tree. So, um, you know. He's, oh, uh, I think the tree might grow up where the apple is. Who can say? Stanley no, honestly, wonderful to be here. Thank you. And, um, Father uh, of our Prime Minister. Thank you. Thank, thank you very, very much, much indeed. And enjoy it. Enjoy it while it lasts. Are you hearing about the weather? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure there's plenty of ghost husbands about the country. Husbands who just never appear at the right times, you know, and disappear. <laughs> Where is he? And he's disappeared again. Disappeared again. You know? <laughs> and when there's a task to be done. Yes, like yeah. emptying the dishwasher. <laughs> Nowhere. Amen. <laughs> yes. But Diane, I love leaving that for you because you know exactly where to put everything. That's such, the only reason I do it. That's such an excuse. Yeah. And also feet. Feet. Yeah. Are you sick of having feet that look like this? Cracked heels, dry skin. Well, I don't know whose feet they are, Ooh, darling. They're, not they're certainly not yours, they're darling. They're not mine, no. Yours are like hooves. <laughs> no, they're definitely not there. <laughs> they are a bit stuck. Do you know, 20 odd years ago plus, yeah. I tried to make Ruth my ex. <laughs> I tried to. I, 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 I it's said. It's our first to, row. You were so dramatic. I said, I oh. that's it. This is not working. <sighs> Goodbye. I went to and I went to close the door yeah. and she just pushed it back. Do you know what she said to me? What? Oh, to be stupid. And that's when you felt so said, deeply in love you couldn't survive without her for one she minute. She just pushed past me. Just to be stupid. Stupid. We've been rowing ever why, since. She said, why would you want to dump me? She said. <laughs> She's quite right, isn't she? Said, why would I want to dump you? And wasn't she right? Well, <laughs> Stop it. Don't, don't be named ways. Don't you dare.